Hello. The service request work center was delivered with 7606, I believe. And the functionality probably needed a little bit more fanfare. There is a video that's been provided by IBM that will help you with the uh, essentially the tailoring of the Service Request Work Center and enhance its capabilities to deliver better data. Uh, this is the video link here, and it is, I, I checked it today just to make sure it's still there and the link still works, so give it a shot. Uh, the thing to keep in mind with this, the Service Request Work Center brings some ease of use. It's responsive, pretty much device agnostic, so it's going to resize on a connected mobile device, a tablet, as well as a laptop. Um, this will allow your users to quickly select the class, uh, subclass, uh, get a standard description for frequently requested items, and allows manual entry. Now, the tailoring of this can be a little complicated, and it's been significantly enhanced with the delivery of 7.6.1.1. So if you're using this, it's probably something to consider uh, in terms of getting current. So, for the classification to be used on a Service Request Work Center, first thing you need to do is specify the use with when you're building out the classification. Um, then you can you know, add a picture. That picture becomes what's available um, to the end user. The label would be available to them as well. And uh, the child classifications uh, essentially build out the hierarchy so where they would click next after they clicked on the first one. Um, beyond that, you get this sort of nice graphical user interface um, to submit a service request. And if you click on a service request, you essentially move down the hierarchy and you get the categorization of your service request uh, in this case, it's just a request for service based on what I clicked. Uh, and then this top section is really what you see in Maximo. The bottom is what the, is built in behind the screens and is effectively what's being used to drive uh, the change in the interface. You choose, uh, in this case, HR. It becomes a subcategory. And then you have additional level uh, of essentially an issue that may be uh, what's driving it at this particular time. Of course, you get this option to describe the issue as well, and you can just feel free to type at any level. Um, beyond that, once you get your service request created, your hierarchy is essentially filled out on the classification. Uh, the classification description uh, was generated, generated the description on the service request itself, uh, which is functionality built into the classification. And a typing of additional details will typically come in a long description. So if somebody wants to just type in, they can, and it's going to show up in the details in the long description section. Now, in terms of what happens with let's say um, a, a phone or a tablet, and you're, you're looking at some type of mobile device, you'll find it will resize, it'll conform effectively to the size of the display, um, relay itself out, and try as best as possible to still present you with the same functionality, just a slightly different look and feel simply due to the fact that the physical device uh, and its resolution is just different. Uh, but it is mobile friendly to any connected cellular or Wi-Fi uh, connection. What about getting back to the maintenance? Why do we do all this work? You would think it would be a little easier to maintain. Well, you know, keeping back to why, you know, we want to simplify record creation. 
simultaneously increase data quality with better classifications and standardization of, and standardizing frequently used descriptions. Uh, to do this, this is the work we're presented with. And clearly, this is something that has been of a concern. Um, we get better process, better information, but it's hard to maintain. So it looks like IBM picked up on that. And now we have the Maximum Management Interface, essentially a tool work center that allows you to manage um, this entire process. So you can modify, you can delete the category hierarchies uh, for service requests, um, move them around. Uh, the, the piece in terms of actually maintaining them individually with the graphic, that still belongs in the classification, which you can get to from here. But uh, in terms of kind of maintaining the hierarchy, this is the place you want to be if you're in 761.1. Ooh, that says 1.x. That should say 1.1. One one. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and fix 1.1. One. That's better. And there. That's better. 7.6.1.1. And from here, um, let's go ahead and take a look at Maximo. And we'll use the previous site. Let's do. Uh, it looks like it. And. That looks like it. And it should, yes. So the nice part about this, we get the passwords. Uh, let's go in. We're going to do a service request. Let's go ahead and create one. We'll be MaxSR. And our password will be MaxPass. No, MaxPass1. MaxPass1. That's right. Now, again, the maintenance portion, is it's a little much the video does a great job of explaining what that is but i think what you'll find with 76.1.1 is a lot easier to do I encourage you to upgrade but that's just me all right so we'll get in to the search quests work center we'll see if we have any it looks like we have a few in here i'm gonna get a new one created we're gonna bring in a new employee, right? <laughs> Someone we all know. Uh, let's see, so I want to request for service. It's HR, and if you want, you can put icons and pictures here as well. Um, new employee, and yep, new employee, next. And let's see, this is going to be, well, uh, this will be me. I'm actually the affected person because somebody coming in, but I'll just make me Smith. Uh, which is not me, but that's, you get the idea. Uh, uh, company. All right, so we'll get that in. Uh, no photo. Um, Yes, I'm at Needham in the office building. Um, first floor, why not? Nah, it's closed. Oh, yeah, I'm an office floor one. Select the location. All right. And I'm not going to set an asset. Just skip that step. And I'm going to say Diane Library. I'll let somebody else figure out the details. I'll go ahead and submit it. It gets into Maximo, shows up on the work center. And what does it look like in the actual service request? So let's go ahead and let's see what is sign out. 
go back to the main page and log in as a different user, but I know what it is, so I'll just get back to the standard Maximo login, getting rid of the dash X portion. And let's see, Maximo and max PASS1. There we go. We will then navigate into the, well, let's do it this way. And there's a service request application. Let's look at anything created since yesterday. There shouldn't be that many. There is my new employee. <laughs> Cute. And we can see the information filled in. Got a request for service. There's our description again, which I had entered manually, Dying Library. Uh, the description comes in, so uh, the other information that had been entered. And of course, had I been recognized as uh, a person record, you, get, you can get other details that'll come with that as well. But at any rate, uh, that's how it works. Upgrade if you can. Thanks and have a good day.